Uh, hi, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Christopher Phillips. I'm a first year at the college. Uh, my question is for Mr. Stelter. Uh, you've all spoken extensively about Fox News being a purveyor of uh, disinformation, uh, but CNN is right up there with them. They push the Russian collusion hoax. They push the Jesse Smollett hoax. They smeared Justice Kavanaugh as a rapist, and they also smeared Nick Sandman as a white supremacist. And yes, they dismissed the Hunter Biden laptop affair as pure Russian disinformation. Uh, with mainstream corporate journalists becoming little more than uh, apologists and cheerleaders for the regime, is it time to finally declare that the, uh, the canon of journalistic ethics is dead or no longer operative? Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media, and CNN in particular, seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence, or is there something else behind it? It's too bad. It's time for lunch. <laughs> uh, you have 30 I, I, seconds. No, I mean, there is there's a clock that says 30 seconds. But, but I think my honest answer to you, and I will, I'll come over and talk in more detail after this, is that I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch. Uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. I think it's important when we talk about shared reality and democracy, all these networks, all these news outlets have to defend democracy. And when they screw up, admit it. Uh, but when Benjamin Hall, the Fox correspondent, was wounded in Ukraine, the news crews at CNN and the New York Times stopped what they were doing, and they tried to help. They tried to help him get out of the country. They tried to find the dead crew members. That's what news outlets do. That's how they actually do work together to your question about sharing those kinds of connections and trust. We don't talk about it enough, though. We don't share that reality about how that happens. And with regards to the regime, I think you mean the President Biden? The last time I spoke with a Biden aide, we yelled at each other. So that's the reality of the news business that people don't see, that people don't hear. They imagine that it's a, a situation that simply is not. But I think your question, it speaks to the failure of journalism to show our work and show the reality of how our profession operates. We have a lot of work to do, I think.